some good views from up here. It's a stroll in the park Ricky Moat feared he wouldn't live to enjoy. He had only a week to live when surgeons carried out the transplant which saved him. Now, less than three weeks later, he's back home in Sheffield. His speed of recovery has surprised doctors. So I did, did my absolute best to get on my feet so that I could mobilise, so that I didn't end up in, back in intensive care with things like pneumonia. Today he's enjoying quality time with his wife Lisa and sister Gemma, who's travelled to Yorkshire from her home in Australia. I don't want to let myself or my family down, but I especially don't want to let the donors down. So I've got to do everything I can to make the most of life now. The way he's managed to come back from everything, and he's done absolutely amazing. I am so proud of him. More proud now than I ever have been of him. He just inspires everyone around him. He's the glue that holds our family together. He's a great, he's a great guy. Ricky's transplant operation took place at a specialist centre in Oxford and lasted more than 10 hours. Surgeons put in a donated bowel and abdominal wall. It went much better than expected, though the risk of Ricky's body rejecting the transplanted organ is ever present and he'll be monitored closely over the coming months. No, I've been cooped up, Anna. Since coming home, he's enjoying the simple things in life which used to cause him so much pain, like eating and drinking. Sat on the sofa and had a decent cup of coffee, to be fair, because I was gasping for a proper cuppa. He's vowed to continue his campaign to raise awareness of organ donation. Because anything can happen to anybody any day. I mean, you, can have, you could live 90 years and be quite happy and have a, a long, successful life. I could get hit by a bus tomorrow. Nobody knows what tomorrow's going to bring. Some days you have a little blip. He says when the time is right, he'll try to make contact with the donor's family. So what will he say? The impact it's had, what it's been able to do for me, how grateful I am that, you know, it's not going to go to waste. And he's already starting to make good on his promise. David Hurst, ITV News, Sheffield.